Hey guys, how's it going? Thad here with Iowa Budget RC, and we're back on the Claude Buster, and it's time to get this thing finished up. So uh, I'm actually going to take this off the bench and set it aside. We are to the step where we need to build these shocks, and uh, I actually honestly wish I had some like crawler shocks to put on this thing, just because it flexes really, really good. But it's not a crawler; it's a Claude Buster. It's a monster truck. So. We're going to put the uh, stock shocks together, the uh, friction shocks, and get everything mounted on here. And uh, then after that, we will be uh, hooking up the uh, electronics, and it'll be ready to run with the ruster body on it here. Um, probably never run it with the uh, show body on it, which is the Excalibur, uh, because I don't want to hurt that body. Uh, so that will be like shelf queen body and or uh, like when we take it to Horizon Fest and put it uh, put our trucks in the uh, show and shine. So anyway, I did a uh, nice bench clean today and uh, kind of went through stuff and uh, got uh, got my bench all organized where I can find stuff again. Shout out to Chris over at Camp Rain Cloud for making us this uh, litho pane. And uh, I think that's really cool. And uh, also, if anybody wants stickers, just shoot me an email, shoemakerguitarworks at gmail.com. Uh, it's in the about section and uh, of our channel, and I will uh, shoot you a couple stickers. Uh, also, uh, if you want to send me stickers uh, for your channel, uh, shoot me an email, and I will... Uh, uh, make sure you get our address and uh, don't forget to check out our merch store iowabudgetrcbashers.com where we've got t-shirts hats sweatshirts whatever that being said let's get to putting these shocks together all right got all my parts laid out uh, the shock pieces the shafts the nuts and uh, the rubber pieces that go on the uh, actual shock itself Guess it would help things if I would have gotten the uh, springs out of the bin too, huh? Can't uh, hardly build the shocks without the springs, now can we? It's time to start building these, and uh, the handiest tool in the world is going to be these dynamite shock pliers that I got from my friends at Major Art and Hobby in Davenport. And uh, so anyway, I'm going to get one of these built, and I will bring it, bring you back, and I will show you. All right, guys, these uh, these go together really easy. And uh, so one built, 487 shocks to go. Uh, but I did put the rubber spacer in there. And basically, uh, let's see here, show you. Tighten the nut, don't tighten it, but just run the nut all the way down to the bottom of the threads and then put that uh, shock end on there and then you've got your shock body and then you snap this onto the end of it and you're good to go so uh now i'll do the other 487 of them and uh i will bring you back all right so here's where the shock pliers really come in handy so after you screw that nut down you got your spring on there you got something to hold on to to hold the uh shaft while you're screwing the uh, uh knuckle on the end of it all right, all eight friction shocks are together, and uh, the rubbers are, I did put the rubbers on there, so they're close enough. Uh, it doesn't have to be perfect. Uh, they're somewhere around three quarters of an inch or 19 millimeters as it calls for, so uh, that should work. So next step, I'll get out all the uh, brass spacers and the nuts and the uh, machine screws and get these shocks mounted to the chassis. Then we'll be on to electronics, and uh, we're going to be be busting clods before you know it. All right, got the chassis back up on the bench, and got the eight screws, the eight spacers, eight nuts, and eight washers to go ahead and uh, throw these shocks on the chassis. So I will bring you back when we get them mounted. And uh, it's pretty straightforward as to how they go. And uh, yeah, it's coming right along, getting uh, getting really close, really close to running. All right, one side done. 
Still got four shocks left. Uh, pretty straightforward. The hardest part is getting the, uh, the lower ball joint pieces on to uh, the studs. But again, not a, not a hard thing to do. Um, I suggest popping these on before you screw them to the top because uh, it just makes it quite a bit easier. So that's just a little tip for you guys. All right, guys, all shocks are on. And uh, if all went well, then it should be ready for uh, putting the electronics in, getting the wheels on, and uh, yeah. So uh, anyway, gotta grab the ESC, and then I've got a uh, Dumbo receiver here. And uh, yeah, should be able to start getting the, uh, the electronics ready to go. All right, guys. Got uh, the electronics just loosely in here. I haven't screwed this piece in yet. Uh, got my Dumbo receiver bound here. Uh, I'm going to check and make sure that steering is at full throw and centered and throttles at 100%. All right, we're good there. Uh, let's check and make sure that we got the directions right. Uh, one thing that you have to do on the rear motor of a clod is reverse the two wires. So blue would go to the red and yellow would go to the black uh, just to get the proper rotation. So let's see if we got this right. This is forward. Both go in the same direction. Let's see if steering is correct. Yes, we have correct steering. So, uh, again, steering is not great uh, when these things are stationary. But uh, so now what I'm going to do is I'm going to see about, let's see, throttle. So, Holmes says that they want you to break in the uh, motors in the direction that they're uh, supposed to be going. So however you wire them, whatever. So what uh, I'm doing is I just turned the throttle trim and I'm going to let this thing sit here and run for 10, 15, 20 minutes and uh, make sure the motors don't get hot, the ESC, whatever and uh, get those motors broken in and then it will be ready to button everything up put the tires and wheels and body on and go out and uh, bust some quads all right guys been running this thing for about 20 minutes We got some more uh, break in to do, obviously. But we've got throttle both directions. And the brushes are starting to sound more broke in. So I'm going to let it keep running until those are good and good, broke in. All right. So. Motors are all broken in. I'm happy with that, happy with the way everything's working. So now I'm going to get all of this tidied up and uh, figure out a spot for the switch since, you know, these uh, Hobby Wing uh, ESCs that come with these things don't have the Tamiya style switch. That's one of my biggest bitches with Tamiya is they don't give you, when they give you an ESC, they don't give you the ESC that has the right kind of switch that fits in their switch holes. Either change your molds or, uh, you know, have pay Hobby Wing to, to put the switches on or whatever. But anyway, so I'm gonna get that all tidied up, then uh, move on to the last steps, which will be putting the uh, uh, hubs on and uh, the wheels. All right, guys, here it is. The Rusty Clod Farms Clod Ruster. So it is 
uh, ready to run. I've got the battery over here charging on the uh, charger. Last little addition is I took a guitar string and added a little whip to it. I gotta kind of bend it back into shape, but uh, uh, yeah, just got a little farmer farmer antenna on there. Don't know if it's his CB antenna or his uh, uh, his uh, ham radio or whatever, but uh, yeah. So I think this turned out pretty darn good. No spotlights on the the roll bar, of course. It's just kind of there because. Um, and I didn't put the pieces in there on the bottom either uh, because, uh, well, I had extras, but I didn't like how it looked. So anyway, uh, pull the body off here. And uh, okay, so here's my battery wire. Battery wire is going to come out of the battery compartment like that. Got my receiver mounted up here. Wires all tied together. I uh, got the switch going out on the other side which i will turn it around and show you so got my switch mounted right there and uh that works for that so yeah it's uh, it's ready to run so next time you see this we will uh uh be running this beast and uh it'll be up against grayson's uh truck and we will show them with both bodies on them and uh, show you how everything does as far as uh, if this one's any faster with the Holmes motors or uh, who's going to win. So anyway, thanks for watching, guys. Have a great day. Don't forget to hit that like and subscribe and check out our merch store.